Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Let's Play Minecraft. Now today, my friends, we have ourselves another exploration episode, but we do have another goal in mind when it comes to exploring, and a lot of you guys are probably going to be happy with this. We are going to find ourselves... A woodland mansion! That is right! We are going to go for a woodland mansion today, and if there's time at the end of the episode, we may even go ahead and battle a raid at our base area if there's time. So, yeah, guys! Exciting times! We're finally going to make usage of that woodland mansion map that we got previously from the cartographer. So, yeah, my friends, a nice action-packed exploration episode to be had today. So, of course, if that is the sort of thing you guys like to watch, then do be sure, of course, to let me know with either a comment or by dropping a like on the video. Of course, if you do want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get a discount when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. Now, before getting started, my friends, I have been a busy, busy old bee since the last episode, and you guys are going to be so proud of me because I finally did it. I finally did it. I cleared the house and organized everything. We have all of our valuables in here, all of our food bits in here. We've got our little mementos and rare items in here. We've got all the shulker boxes and all of the comments of the day books. I mean, it's almost as if this base has regressed about 30 episodes. And that, of course, means only one thing. I mean, I'm hardly going to go ahead and just rid all the items that I had. So, I decided to finally organize them. We are finally going to be spending way more time in this series in our storage room here because everything is nice and organized. Hey, oh, it's pretty cool, isn't it, my friends? We have chests dedicated to all sorts of things, redstone stuffs. This is sort of generic blocks. We've got all of our bits of gear that we've got from our end raiding sessions. Oh, snappers. Yeah, all is looking good. And even when we head upstairs, all is looking well here. We've got all of our greenery and plants and slabs and stairs and snowy bits and mushroom blocks. Oh, it's a good time, my friends. So no more searching through chests when it comes to us doing any kind of building project in our episodes. So just in case we don't manage to make it back here in today's episode, we're actually going to do the member shout outs at the beginning here. We've got Jack DMI becoming a member on the channel. Thank you so much for that, buddy. I really, really do appreciate that kind of support there, bud. And there you are. A red sign, as requested. Hey there, bear. Hey there, Mr. Fox. Oh, you two are so adorable, isn't they? Look at them. Alrighty, so this is our maps chest. So within here, of course, is our Woodland Explorer map of epicness. So according to this, we are going to be going in a northwestern direction. I'm thinking maybe what we do is we just head sort of directly west, which is actually the way I'm facing right now. And then we just sort of go north whenever we start to move on the map there. So, yeah, should be a fun time, my friends. So, the time has come. No more dilly-dallying. We've got plenty of food. It is time to set off on our epic journey towards a woodland mansion. Oh, snap, snap, snappity snappers. I'm so excited for this, my friends. We have had this woodland explorer map for a good few episodes now. And, yeah, I'm pre-recording for a little bit of a camping holiday with my girlfriend. So, I figured a nice, easy episode idea would be for us to find... Finally, go ahead and find ourselves the Woodland Mansion. And already, judging by the slow speed in which the chunks are appearing in front of me, I would have to assume that these are brand new chunkies. Oh, yeah. We've got ourselves a big old savanna here. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we're inadvertently finding new biomes as well. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh. Oh, no way. It goes all the way through. Oh, that is so cool, though. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. That is absolutely screaming to be built at. Oh, that is so cool. Like a cove base. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like we have ourselves another jungle. Interesting. Oh, this is more interesting, though. We have ourselves a sparse jungle. Honestly, one of my favorite new biomes added to this game. I mean, to be honest, it's just an overhaul of the old jungle edge biome. But it's still pretty cool, right? We could quite easily make ourselves a new base over here. How far are we away? About 1,700 blocks. Wow. This is cool. All right. Again, taking out the coords because I really actually like this area. 
Yeah, look at how green it is. And we can use that sort of uh, switch between the lush green and the duller green. We can use that as like a natural end point for any eventual base that we make over here, right? We've got another pillager tower over there. Very interesting. Do we go ahead and see whether or not there's a couple of LA's around here? I figured that'd be a nice idea. I think I just saw one pop into existence. Oh, 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 my goodness me. We're going to get overrun by these things, aren't we? Oh, jeez. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to do what I did with the other guys. I'm going to give these guys some food. Uh, wait. Yeah, I could have sworn there were two of these guys before. Come on, fella. Let's go, go, go. I'm not staying here for a second longer than I need to. All right. These guys only have, like, a certain flying speed, huh? That's how it's gonna be. So I can't even fly anymore? Oh, man! Not unless I just sort of leave these guys floating around here. If I take down the towards of this area here, then I will come back, okay? I promise. I will come back. I will get those allays at a later date. I just don't want to go ahead and be landlocked again. Oh, hello! Hello! What be going on here? Oh, this is cool. What the hell is this, man? This is the smallest Badlands biome I have ever seen. Wait a minute. I've just realized something, guys. If we're going west, that means... I'm pretty sure if we go very, very slightly north... What we should come across, ladies and gentlemen... <gasps> it's our beach base! Oh! This, oh my word. I should have started from here, huh? That would have been a way better idea. <laughs> For those of you guys unaware, I think it was like episode 37 or something like that. We uh, made ourselves a new base area in the desert between two mangrove biomes. Oh, dude, I so need to come back here and start working on this area again, don't I? Oh, look at that, guys. We are now moving on the map. Which means we need to change direction any second now to go north. So here we are, my friends, heading north. Good grief, this mangrove biome is enormous. It does not seem like it is wanting to stop. Oh, hey, no, okay, there we are. It connects up to a jungle biome. Good grief, look at that, man. You could easily get lost in there. <laughs> Hey, there we are, my friends. It just turned into a big old splodgy. All right. So this means, strictly speaking, this mansion isn't actually overly far in the grand scheme of things. It's not overly far away from our base areas. Usually, they're like 10,000 plus blocks away, no? But, yeah. Four and a half thousand blocks away. Maybe about three, three and a half thousand blocks away. Oh, there's the dark forest. Which means, coming up any minute now, like literally any minute now, I hope we don't wind up crashing into it and dying, but yeah, any minute now, oh snap, there it is, we done found it ladies and gentlemen, oh here it is, oh very good, oh good grief, okay, a uh, little bit of lag going on here, but that's only because this is newly generated terrain, oh this is cool though dude. All right, very, very cool. Right, I'll tell you what. I want to start a new habit, okay? When it comes to these various explorer maps and maps in general, I want to make sure that I'm going ahead and filling them up because then it would just look way, way better on the wall in the adventure house that we built a few episodes ago, right? So, yeah, let's go and fill this bad boy up, right? And then we shall begin on the mansion exploring. I must admit, my friends... This map being filled up, that was a good idea. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? Look at all the colors and the brown and the little red splodgies on there. They look so cool, dude. Ho <laughs> ho! All right, question. Where is the entrance? Where is it? Oh, it's way down there. Huh. It's kind of a secluded entrance. Hmm. I may need to go ahead and sort of dig this area out so we can have ourselves a bit of a quick escape area, should we need it. All right, my friends, if we're going to do this, we are going to do this well. Okay, we're going to put on our diamond chest plate. I feel like it has been an age since we've actually roamed around with full armor, my friendos. So, uh, yeah, this should be 
pretty interested, to say the least. I did kind of have another idea, like a seriously, seriously long-term goal that we could have for the series, right? And I'm talking, this is going to literally last us hundreds of episodes, and that is to go ahead and convert the large structures that exist in the Minecraft world. So this would be one of them. Uh, I don't know, the Ocean Monument could be another. The Ancient City could be another. We go ahead and convert each and every single one of those into a base area. I think that could be an epic idea. This could be like a nod back to that old Let's Play on Python MC where we converted out a woodland mansion into a base. And then maybe this time we could do a better job of it, right? Well, obviously that's not going to be started anytime soon because, you know, I've still got plenty of stuff to be going ahead and finishing in the meantime. So, ladies and gentlemen... We are going to pop ourselves in here. I just realized I didn't bring a great deal of torches or lighting with me. So, um, you know, good job there. Excuse me? Good job there, Pythonado and all that. Uh, you're going to die there, sir. All right. And there's a tree growing inside the house. That's very peculiar, but never mind. It's all good, baby. All right. What do we have? That is the question. Not a great deal in here. Right. I'm not the only one hearing a laze, right? Did those LAs from before finally catch up to me? Is that something they can even do? I'm a little bit confuzzled. All right, what if I open this up? Oh, hey, uh, okay. Is that a secret room? I don't know. Hey, this is a tree room. Cool. And it's got an iron axe in it. Oh, wow, that's worth it, isn't it? Man, this place is dark. Dark with a capital dark. We do have to be careful here. There's a vindicator. And he's slightly dead. Good. Oh, good sweet lord. Hello. Hi. Ow. What? He can still do damage to me even despite having my shield up. You son of a gun. Well, there's plenty of regular mobs in here. Well, we've got ourselves one of these here chest rooms. So I'm going to pick up the chests. I mean, all storage is good storage, right? So yeah, we can use these things to make ourselves some shulker boxes. I'm just now realizing, my friends, that uh, if we manage to get ourselves a totem of undying here, it would be the first ever Totem of Undying I ever pick up in this series. We're, what, 43, 44 episodes into this series? And we're only now, for the first time, getting ourselves one of those things. I think that's kind of crazy. <laughs> How has it been this long, man? Oh, dear. All right, so one thing I did see over here, I think this was indeed hot. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. There certainly are plenty of regular mobs around it. Sweet Lord! How many of these guys are there? Oh my god. One, two, three. Okay. How about in here? Four, five, six. Whoa. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. And in here, 10, 11, 12. How? There's 12 freaking LAs in here. Okay, so if you guys want to be going ahead and getting yourselves a small army of LAs, Woodland Mansions are the place to get them. I like learning new things about Minecraft. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. All right, uh, this is going to be one of those rooms. Oh, it's one of those twisty, windy rooms, yes? And then they go all the way around, all the way around until we find ourselves a chest around this corner. Oh, it's very, very dark. All right, what have we got here? A name tag. Wow, was that worth it? No. <laughs> hey, buddy. Give me those emeralds. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We've got five of them now. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is certainly keeping me on my toes, this place. Uh, there's a chest up here. Yeah, there is. All right, what have we got here? Uh, Depth Strider 2. Wait, there's no one else around there, is there? I hope not, because otherwise I'm going to be scared out of my skin. They have got to go ahead and overhaul the Woodland Mansion loot. I mean, I'm sure there have been plenty of people going ahead and saying the exact same thing, that the Woodland Mansion loot has to be overhauled and made better, because just, it's a bit poopy. It really, really is. You go ahead and travel, typically thousands and thousands of blocks, right? And you get basically nothing. And it's just seriously underwhelming, isn't it? You know? 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm preaching to the choir here, but I really do feel like Woodland Mansion loot needs a serious overhaul. All right, so I've got a bit of an idea here with my friends. I'm going to go ahead and use two shulker boxes, okay? We're going to have ourselves a shulker box uh, containing things that I would consider to be valuable, right? So leads and name tags can go in there. And then the rest of it can just sort of go in here. And then at that point, yeah, we can go ahead and slightly more accurately determine how worth it this trip has been. I mean, at the very least, it's been worth it just to explore, you know? So, you know, it's not overly bad. I really rather made a boo-boo here by not bringing night vis potions. So, uh, you know, good job, Pythonator, and all that. One of these days, I might actually come prepared for once for one of these big old exploration trips. All right, another tree room. What have we got around here? Not a great deal by the looks of it. What if I was to uh, break out through this thing? Uh, oh, that's where the Elays are. I don't want to go ahead and have them escape. Not just yet. If I'm going to have them escape, I'm going to have them follow me. So, my friends, I think it is time to progress up to floor... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Yeah, that's the name of this floor. Floor, oh my goodness. Right, here's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to have a bow on a... Oh, gee whiz. We're going to have a bow on our offhand. I forget how quick these guys are. Gee whiz. Ah, no, no. All right, that guy's dead. And that guy's also dead. Yeah, you see, put the bow on your offhand and you still get the looting from your sword. <laughs> that's right, buddy. Suck on my smartness. All right, so not really a great deal of anything going on so far. I imagine, though, if we explore enough... All right, so that goes up to the third and final floor. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, this goes into nothing. Okay, come on, have some more chests for your boy, eh? What's in this one? Oh, a library! Oh, that's cool, though! Oh, yeah, the good news is my undead tree fella has a silk touch on it. So what do you know? We can go and pick these things up straight off the rip, dude. Oh, I do think that these massive bookshelf library rooms should at least generate with a chest in them, rather similar to how the libraries in a stronghold do. And I feel like they should have much the same loot as well, you know, books and papers and, uh, you know, enchanted books more to the point. That'd be really, really cool. It just seems like a logical idea, no? Yeah! The golden combo. Looting sword. Epic bow. Oh, I know what this is. It's a wrestling ring. Oh, jeez! No! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, get wrecked! You just got absolutely two-shotted. Ha! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ain't no vex getting towards me, son. Ha-ha! <laughs> Our first ever totem of undying of the series, dudes! Oh, this is a big old occasion. And there we have it, my friends. The wrestling ring room. It does have a chest upstairs. But once again, the loot is very sort of meh. I mean, if we could find ourselves an enchanted gold apple in here, if that's even possible, that would be rather marvellous, I must say. Right, what have we got in these other rooms? Oh, right, that's where the evoker would have spawned. Ah, okay. Yeah, I thought it was a bit strange that he was in the wrestling room. I don't get why that was the case, but uh, anyways, all is well. Is there anything on top of this bed? Ah, uh, hello, man. Hello, seems like the kind of thing that Minecraft would do. I am going to use chests to get myself up there. Right. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, man. Was that really it for this entire floor? I mean, that doesn't seem like there's a great deal going on here. Oh, wait. Did we not explore down here? I don't think we did, you know. Right, what do we got in here? Oh, my goodness. It's another library room. I wonder if we are going to be able to find some secret rooms in today's episode. I mean, we did find that little tree room that was... I mean, it was strictly speaking hidden. There was still sort of a doorway going into it, but I still had to break into it. So, does that make it a secret room? I don't know. Anyway, secret rooms, they can spawn on all floors, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I think maybe the higher up you go, maybe the more valuable the room might be. Like, for example, I don't think in the entire time I've played Minecraft, you know, nearly 12 freaking years, I don't think I have ever found one of those rooms that has, like, the obsidian case with a diamond block in the middle. It's something that I've just never seen before, you know? It's, it's interesting to think about, though, isn't it? Like, we've been playing Minecraft this long, and there's still stuff that I've never seen. 
It's craziness, isn't it? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, snappity snap snappers. There's a war room here, my friends. Right, I wonder if I can take this guy out. Ha! Oh, I killed him before we even had a chance to summon the Vex. <laughs> Oh, get absolutely ruined. All right, so all that's left to be done is to get ourselves up to the final floor here. Right, uh, question before we do that, though. Are there any mobs down here? I don't believe there are. Oh, 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 there is. Hello. Don't think I didn't see you there, sir. All righty, my friend. So here we go. Going up to the final floor. What do we have here, huh? Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> what? What the devil? Oh man, I'm so confused. All right, uh, chest? Question mark? This is like a study room in my mind. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, uh, moving on. I might be biased though because there's flower pots inside it, but you know, there's neither here nor there, really, is it? Right. So pushing on in here. Oh, good lord. And this is a really tall room. Wow. All right. Uh, moving on. Moving around. This has nothing in it. What the? Wow. This is turning out to be a really disappointing floor so far. This one also appears to not have a great deal going on. Hmm. Something tells me that there might be like a loft somewhere that might contain a couple of hidden chests. But yeah, I can't believe this. There's like literally nothing here. What the heck, dude? There's nothing. There's absolutely bleeding nothing. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. quick reactions or what? I will, of course, go ahead and, you know, not complain about having a third library room, though. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, my friends, if we ever wanted to take on the Project Pokemon Librarian Edition project again, then we would have absolutely no issues with going ahead and building a large structure for it. Some of you guys might remember that uh, towards the end of Python's World on the old channel, we tried Project Pokemon Librarian Edition. Uh, uh, but yeah, shortly after that, the series ended, which was a bit sad. But yeah, I'd quite like to go ahead and rekindle that project, to be honest with you. To be able to have a librarian selling every single kind of top-tier enchanted book for just a singular emerald would be absolutely, like, earth-shatteringly huge for this series, right? Alrighty, so with that wiped out, let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves a secret room or two. Hmm. Right, so here's what we're going to be looking for, okay? We're looking for rooms that have a slightly lower roof than usual. You know what? There's an easier way of doing this. There is an easier way of doing this. We are going to break our way out of here. Yes, okay. And then we're going to up, uh, chuck our pickaxe away, apparently. Uh, we are going to see what this guy has real quick. Uh, not a great deal of anything that we need. Again, if you had a Nautilus shell, I would be way, way happier. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grab out our wings real quick because we don't really need our chest plate anymore since everybody's been taken out of the game. And we are going to break the roof open. That is right. We are breaking the roof open. We are destroying this thing. I want to see... If we could find ourselves a secret room. Well, my friends, I've been chopping this woodland mansion up for a fair while now. And there is no sign of any attic chests or secret rooms either. To say that this has been a pretty disappointing woodland mansion is rather an understatement, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. Hi, man. All right, I mean, probably the best thing that we found is this room here with the 12 LAs. 12 LAs! It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Anyways, I guess now is as good a time as any to go ahead and uh, stock up our chests here. So, this is all the sort of generic loot that we have managed to get from this here mansion. I mean, you know, the chests and the bookshelves are certainly appreciated. But aside from that, it's all just sort of meh. But, checking out this chest here, again, if I'm being honest, it's just sort of meh isn't it? There's not really a great deal of stuff going on. So yeah, this totem of undying, this is the one. This is the one we're going to be naming. And then yeah, this one could go in there, so it's a little bit of a swapsie. This one is the special one. But yeah, like I say, just disappointing loot all around. So then, the next time we come back here, ladies and gentlemen, will probably be if and when we decide to start ourselves a new base area over here. I mean, we are four and a half thousand blocks away in one direction, and three 3,000 blocks away 
in the other direction. So, yeah, it's, it's a fair way out of the way, isn't it, this whole area? So, I think that all that's left to be done is to go ahead and head on home, my friendos, back to zero, zero. Now, obviously, if we find ourselves anything cool on the way back, I will, of course, bring you guys back and we can check it out. But, yeah. Like I say, Woodland Mansions, they've always been kind of meh ever since they were introduced. I mean, the only real challenge is if you do not have Elytra and you do not have Diamond Armor, really. Uh, everyone else could just sort of two-shot you if you don't have your wits about you. So, yeah, I don't know. Woodland Mansions, if you know how to take them down, they are just easy street. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. What is this? It's a mushroom biome. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is amazing! It's not even that far away from home, dude! What, about 2,000 blocks out, 1,500 blocks in another direction? This? Oh, this is a big find, my friends! This is a big, big find! Alright, what's going on over here? Oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay, this is epic. This is epic. This has most definitely made this whole trip worth it. We found a freaking mushroom biome, dudes. Right now, I'm really drawing some inspiration from uh, Iskal 85's old Iskal's Island series, where we went ahead and converted an entire mushroom island into a nice lush green haven, right? Ah, oh, dude, that'd be so, so cool, though. Because, yeah, for those of you guys unaware, the grass color in a mushroom biome is actually the same as that of a lush green grass block in the jungle. You know? It's pretty freaking cool. We could totally have an island project out here, guys. So, yeah, most definitely taking down the coordinates of this area. And we are most definitely going to come back here in the future to do what we will. Oh, that is so cool, though. I'd have gone ahead and generated a new map for that area, but um, sadly, I don't have any maps on me. So, yeah, that's kind of a sad time. Oh, there's a boat there. Do we want to go ahead and explore that? Oh, there's a couple things to explore here, actually. Look at this. All sorts of stuff here, actually. Look at this. We've got ourselves a chest. This is going to have an enchanted gold apple in, yes. Uh, ah, I just got debated. I can't believe it. How could you go ahead and do that? You trick me like that. You give me something that is almost as good as what I was looking for, eh? Huh? That's not cool now, is it? Right, what is cool is going to be the fact that there's going to be a diamond here, yes? This is me calling it. Uh, oh, uh, okay. I mean, I, I called it. I, I got one. So, popping down into here, uh, there's our so-called, uh, what's it called? A supply chest, I think it's called. Uh, we've got a moss block in here. We've got carrots. Because of binding, not really too fussed about the uh, the stews right there, if I'm being honest. Uh, what I am interested, though, in is this. The buried treasure map. And that's the good thing about the buried treasure maps. I'm pretty sure they're, like, fully zoomed in, so it really doesn't take a great deal of an amount of time to, uh, you know, fill them in. So, yes, very, very handy dandy. All right, so it's going to be below this block here, yes? Oh, so close. It was literally here. All right, uh, emeralds. Oh, yeah, this is way more like it. Got TNT, iron and gold, water breathing potions. That's kind of awesome. All right, so there we are. I mean, we've got plenty of food and bits and bobs back at base. We really don't need to be worrying too much about that. So, yep, we now have two maps to put on our adventure wall. Ah, lovely home sweet home. Beautiful. When you realize that the loot from the buried treasure chests is, for the most part, better on average than the loot that you get from a freaking mansion. I mean, that should speak volumes to the fact that, yeah, Woodland Mansion loot, it needs an overhaul, doesn't it? Alrighty, so here we go. We've got the Woodland Explorer map right there. And we have ourselves another buried treasure map right about there. 
Yeah, very cool. Right, we still need to go ahead and fill that one in because otherwise that's going to drive me nuts not having that one completed. So there we are. First mansion beaten. Lovely stuff. All right, so that's going to be going in our little mementos chest. So here we are, my friends. Nezradub says this. You should replace all the shroom lights in the fountain with sea lanterns or fog lights when you get access to those. I think they'd look a lot better. You are, of course totally right as well. Oh, to be able to get access to sea lanterns would be an amazing thing indeed. You know what? I think after the episode 50 world tour, we should really start to uh, put a focus on trying to get ourselves some sort of large scale farms going. So we go ahead, try and make ourselves a proper automatic frog light farm. We try and make ourselves a guardian farm. I think making those things in this world and therefore being able to access way way more blocks would be amazing so yeah you're quite right though sea lanterns i think personally would go best in this fountain here but yeah frog lights that'd be a really really cool thing to have access to as well so ladies and gentlemen for now though it is time to wrap up the episode thank you very much for watching if you guys have enjoyed today's episode and of course you're excited to see more do be sure of course to drop a like i'd very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell of course if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. Thank you for all your support. I truly do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.